broken back error. So good morning, welcome back. And this is day number 27 into the semester CISG 114 section 1, where technology and life, and this is actually week number 14, the last week of the semester, except for we still have two more classes next Monday and next Tuesday. Okay? Next Monday is the last day of the class and next Tuesday is the makeup class day. Alright, so after the team-based presentations today, I'm going to share with you the end of the semester course survey. The result I've actually released earlier this morning. Okay? And then we'll come to the speeches of the semester. Now remember, if you have met the speeches of the semester, make sure in your e-portfolio you must have an item for speech of the semester. Okay? And under this item you need to include the day when you make the speech. Okay? Day number, for example, 26, which is November the, the, the 20 or something, or 19 or something, and then the YouTube name and then what you said. This is very important to secure your score. And semester forms, all right? So may I invite team number two now to get ready for the team-based presentations for learning contract number three. And I believe this is the last team to make, and so you have at most 30 minutes, all right? So may I invite you to come up here? Yes. And I've already set the wiki for you, and uh, hopefully this could be very much helpful. Now this is one microphone, this is another microphone. So switch, so I get to or maybe Alexa. Thank you very much. It's your time. Okay. Any particular problem that you don't have later? Okay, I'll show you in a minute. Okay, can you put a bit the, the, the USB here? I do it immediately for you. All right. Including professional line communications and also 
and a virtual office provides communication and address services without providing dedicated office space. It is considered as the best way to start business in the information age. So let's imagine a situation that you can just stay home and working without going to the office and you we can get away from the terrible traffic and can just stay stay at home. While we are working, you can do also do other things such as babysitting or uh, do some listening to some music, and uh, it can provide a com a very comfortable uh, environment that the local office cannot provide. This can improve your. I think it can improve your efficiency and also your pleasure and. So um, it's a quite surprise. So I think the virtual office is a big surprise. It can provide the convenience, flexibility, and creative creativity, and also utilization. You can imagine that if you are in a very, uh, very uh, pleasant environment, it can inspire you to be more creative. And also, all the things factors put together, it can make us feel more like a global citizen because. You are stay at home and you can connect it with people from anywhere in the globe. So it's a very big surprise. But also let's think twice about this virtual office concept. It's also a big challenge. Why? Because we have to think about three questions. Is it make our more productive or just more disruptive? It's make us more isolated or more connected. It's make us more indifferent about other, our feelings or make us more friendly to each other. Because when this concept come out, we need to think about the practical part, but also we need to think about the emotional part. The uh, emotional part is about the people's relation, re, 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 relationship with each other. Because technology brought us lots of benefits. We have we become quicker and more convenient. But we need to think twice on the relationship between each other. Is that make us more indifferent or it make us more friendly towards each other? I think it's really important to think about this. Um, because the world is about people and we have to base on the people's relationship when it's when it's come to the technology. So we need to think think twice on this topic and we need to think it more comprehensively. Not just from very single entity. Uh, there are some examples of virtual office. You can search on the internet, you'll find there's lots of platforms you can get uh, access to, and then you can set up your business through this website. And it's very convenient. And if you want to start a small business in university life, I think it's a very good try uh, with a very low opportunity cost. And this one, the first one's name is definitely virtual, and the second one is working from anywhere. So how, I, I remember it's both from London, and you can have a try. Um, and this is a story behind the stars of virtual office. Um, it's a people, and he become a first time father, and. Uh, he has a baby and she, he wants to take care of his daughter and well, also want to keep his business. So he creates such a concept and now it's very popular. Uh, here is another example. It's about, it's about the Google AdWords. And it's set up um, maybe about several ten, ten years ago. And now it's... Um, it's a big, it's the biggest source of Google's benefit from it. It makes lots of money. Um, if you want to learn more about this concept, you can search the internet. And there is some basic questions you may have. Um, you may know, you want to know what is Google AdWords, and you may know how it's evolved in the past two years. Um, and it's what you want to know its present situations. And let's start with the first questions. The first question is. Uh, what is Google AdWords? Google AdWords is an online advertising service. It enables advertising service that um, 
uh, 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 that enables advertisers to complete a uh, uh, com compete to display brief advertising copy to web users based in part on keywords uh, predefined by the advertisers that might link the copy to the content of web pages shown to the users. Um, it's an uh, example of the virtual office and it's help you to do some advertising work. Yeah, that's all. Everyone? <laughs> Who here doesn't have a smartphone? 
<laughs> so this is um, a graph I saw on statistica.com. And these are the number of apps uh, we have for Google Play, Apple App Store, and Amazon, Windows, and Blackberry World. So raise your hand if you have a smartphone. Raise your hand if you have a Samsung smartphone. <laughs> Okay, so we have a few people here, and for those Samsung users, you have 100,000 more apps than us Apple users. So, just to total all of this, we have about 4 million apps available for everyone. So, is everyone familiar with all these apps? <laughs> I chose these two apps because I feel like we're all familiar with it. These apps are from big companies, Pizza Hut and Starbucks. And well, here are some of the advantages that we have these apps and how they conduct business. So through these, we can order online and save time. And we don't need to pay with cash. We can, pick, we can um, combine our app with our credit card account. So therefore, we don't really, if you forget your money, it's okay. <laughs> and location services, I think I spoke briefly about this before. These allows you to find the nearest shop closest to your home. And promos, memberships, awards, and discounts, all of these would give you a cheaper price when you're buying if, as long as you're a member. So if you're not a member or if you don't have these apps, you may be spending more than what you could actually spend. So these are other big companies with similar apps. We have Amazon, Zalora, and one we're all familiar with, Taobao. So what about these smaller shops? What about shops? From us, what if you want to open up your own shop, but you don't have the money to create a, put up a shop in San Malo or something? So we have Instagram, and there are a number of Instagram accounts that are called Insta Stores. So how do you create an Insta Store? Well, you download Instagram, open the app. Register and sign up for an account. It's quite similar to opening your own. Aside from, instead of your personal pictures, you'll be posting pictures of your items along with their price. So you fill in the registration form. This includes your email, username, and password. And fill in your profile information. And all of these are available to other users. So this is quite public. And confirm your email. And now, after all of that, you have your own Instagram account. And as you can see here on the screen, this is Instagram's, Instagram's very own Instagram account. And you, here are some Insta stores. So as you can see here, there's WeChat here. So that's how you can contact them. This is Beyond the Beach, Cynthia shop. They're, they sell cameras, so if you buy from them, you can actually get it cheaper than when you buy in a store. And this is CP shop. This is a local Insta store, so this is based in Macau, and you can buy Disney-related items. And these are just screenshots I uh, took and I asked. I asked Dita to take, <laughs> and here you see we have um, the price, how many pieces are available. So what you don't know is that these shops, they can be one of our own. So I could be the owner of this shop or you could be the owner. So. There are some disadvantages to this. 
So you don't really get the real shopping experience. You don't get that excitement of going into a brand new shop and searching for codes. <coughs> shipping. Well, sometimes shipping can take a few days and cost extra money. So depending on your location, um, buying from Insta stores, may be a good thing but it may also be a bad thing because it may be a bit more expensive and unknown vendors well it, um the owners can be anyone so if you don't really know it could be a businessman or a businesswoman a student or maybe a criminal you just never know so next up we have girl we will talk about how to set up a business through facebook Alexa, I'm Rui, and the topic I chose um, is how to set up a business on Facebook. So I'm pretty sure everyone in here has Facebook accounts, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Facebook, as we all know, is a social network that brings and connects people together. It allows people to share ideas, gather information, and meet new friends through it. Also, Facebook enables users to create pages, groups, and events for business purposes. But we, um, now I'm going to briefly talk about the background of Facebook. So Facebook started in 2004 when Mark Zuckerberg, a Harvard sophomore, um, created Facebook in his dorm room. So that's it. Pretty sure everyone knows him. <laughs> Um, these, three, these three people, you can see, are Divya Narendra and the twins, Cameron uh, and Tyler Winklevoss. So before Facebook became a worldwide sensation, they actually asked uh, Mark Zuckerberg to help in a project called uh, Harvard Connection, which was a dating, dating site for Harvard elite. So although Mark uh, contributed his work and his ideas, his other friends, Eduardo, Dustin, and Chris Hughes, all dropped out of college and all pursued to work on Facebook. Um, so by the end of 2004, many people around the globe started uh, creating their own profiles on Facebook. But actually, um, four years be after Facebook became famous, um, the twins, the twins, the twin Winkle boss, they actually claimed that Mark Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg um, stole the idea of Facebook from them. This went on for quite some time, but fortunately now, the case is closed. So there's no issue between them anymore. So according to a um, social media networking company, Facebook has 40 million um, business pages created within this year. Um, in this PPT, I only chose the top threes. Um, the first one, with it has nearly 100 million customers in 130 countries. It is an American international group called AIG. Um, their business increases by doing voluntary work and developing that work into a blog post. The top two business uh, page created a famous hashtag called Throwback Thursday. And this page is called MetLife. They actually produce interesting and shareable posts that their fans can relate to. The top three business page is a health insurance company called Edna. This type of business page creates applications that could be used as an interactive application for their clients to use. In this PPT, I included a few of the reasons why Facebook is a great platform for business purposes. One, business is done through Facebook since different range of people, different range of, range of age are already using Facebook actively. As you can see in this chart, there are 2.5 billion content items shared and 2.7 billion likes that are happening every day in Facebook. Second reason is that some people say that being addicted to something is not a good thing, but actually when it comes to business, it's a good thing. You know, people actually 
um, spend more time on it, and it's an advantage when you're having a business. Plus, creating a page on Facebook is much less expensive than traditional outbound, outbound methods. Now I'm going to show you six easy steps on how to create a business page on Facebook. First is to directly go to this link. Then the link will bring you to the page that will choose to ask you from the six different classifications that will give you a more relevant field for your desired page. Third step is to fill up the basic information of your page. Fourth step is to familiarize with the admin panel that consists three main contents, which are the page info, which are basically the information about your business page. The notifications allows you to customize when and how you'd like to receive page alerts. And page roles is assigning who will be managing your page. Maybe some other people are, are who need to access to the page. Fifth step is to populate the page with content such as posts, cover, co cover photo, and profile picture. Then the user can already start um, inviting people, customers, into the page. The last step, uh, when the business is gradually increasing, um, you can look through the, you can measure the growth by looking the over, overview, likes, and views of the customers. So in the future, if you want, if you're planning to have your own marketplace, start with Facebook first. It's easy and it's free. Thank you. Um, so we provide several ways to for you to contact business, and I hope we hope that it may be useful in the future for you to start your own business. Thank you. Thank you very much. And number two, you have provided a very comprehensive benefit where different people would like to use different tools. Thank you very much. Um, it takes a while to put things together. Thank you. All right. Make sure to pick up the USB. Don't forget it. All right. Thank you very much. We love to hear presentations of groups like this. Uh, we work very hard to get things done and put things together amid a very busy schedule. Okay, oh, wow, this is the very last week of the semester, so we complete learning contract number three presentation for all the groups. Now let's get back to the uh, speeches of the semester to see who are going to make a speech today. Uh, yes, let's see. Uh, we have 13 responses, and let's see. Daryl have done the speech. Nicholas has done the speech. Hector has done the speech. Eric, have you done the speech already? Okay, thank you. Um, and then Ariel, have you done the speech? Today, right? Okay, I'll give you time. Uh, are you ready now? Okay. Uh, let me make sure that I'll give you your uh, e portfolio page now. speech of the semester. Uh, last night I attended the class uh, we have totally is 
30 class and his five class is whole days. So actually we just have 25 class in this semester. Uh, I remember, I still remember that at the very first we not having the class in this room, we have a big hall and then uh, I still remember at the uh, two, first two class, professor always asking the question to us and then we uh, just don't know how to answer it and everyone is very shy to uh, taking the mic to say something. And then later we have the first uh, learning contract to working with our partner, we, uh, which is in pair. And we started to think, uh, we started to know what is going on in this class. And then now we can cooperate with each other to do the uh, learning contract number three, and then like this e portfolio. Now you can do a lot of things with the UN Moodle and e portfolio, and that's what you mean in this course. I will say uh, what I'm learning in this, uh, this class and uh, what I'm feeling. I would say uh, what have I and you guys learned in this course, like the confidence, everyone will uh, get a lot of confidence uh, nowadays because uh, you do a lot of presentation. Uh, you are not just this course in another course, but uh, actually I have, uh, I'm more competent uh, to speaking in everyone because uh, we have a lot of chance and opportunity to speak out and friendship. Like uh, we working in a group, and we uh, working in essays, uh, Taipei searching a lot of things in midnight. So uh, that's how you show your friendship with your members and trust. Uh, you trust your group members to work with you, to trust her or him to uh, achieve the goal with you, and communication. Now you know how to communicate with each other, not just face to face or using the software or something like that or email. You know how to communicate more fluently with each other and like I said, the cooperation and writing, speaking, a tons of skills you have learned and that's what you get. Just like the picture, as you can see, um, it's like a structure for you to build up and those skills is for you and you can just see in the future. And special thanks to our professor. Uh, uh, he is the first one who recording the class. Uh, yeah. And he, he is the first professor who play music for us. And um, uh, I. I want to very thank you him to uh, pay a lot of efforts and he's so sweet and so thoughtful for us and thank you very much. Uh, once again, I want to share a video. It's about a day. What will happen in two thousand and twenty to some of this semester for me.
So last but not least, I want to share a quote to you. Let's talk about the value of life. Life is not length of days, but in the use of we make of that. Um, hope you guys can use what you learn from this course in daily life and also the other course. So happy to meet everyone in this course and be very with you. Thank you so much. We need to fit Ariel. Every time she came up here and shared with us something, it's going to be very inspiring. Remember last time she shared with us the stories of the kids pretty taxing and then it was kept, captured by someone uh, in actual TV open post. And then we know that how dangerous it is in the U.S. for kids to pray with those devices. Thank you very much one more time. We love to hear speeches of this type. So after Ariel, it's going to be Rene. Are you ready? Not today, right? Okay. And then after that, it was going to be Alexa. Are you ready? No, not today. Now you better, you better grab the time. And then Roby, okay? And then Maria. Day number 20. Day number 23? But today is day number 20, 27 already. Yes. Oh, you mean November the 23rd. Right? But actually, day of the semester today is day number 27. Day number 27 is on November the 23rd. Alright? So don't mix up. When you say day 23, it's we have a day of the semester. Today is day number 27. All right. So, okay, let's go on. And Haley, you want to do it on today, right? No, 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 just today. Today. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. That's good. Make good time for us. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, we need to do some connections.
blood, mainly for the sharing of our uh, so. sins. First, what is uh, what technology and its impact on our lives? We are all very familiar with the web technology, but maybe don't know exactly what it is. Web, te web technology provides a platform for effective communication among different users and provides a computer network. The internet changed our life e enormously. We, we make use of uh, user-generated Wikipedia uh, Entries to become inform informed about latest news of daily life. We check hotel reviews online. The social me media has uh, occupied all areas of our lives. People have transferred the private communication to social network. It changed a lot of uh, our lives. So, The second, what is digital device in 21st century? Uh, this is a, also a part of my, my work in learning country. In learning country, why? Digital device is an economic and social inequality with regard to access to information, communication, technology, ICT. But in 21st century, the digital device is changing. Before, the access and cost was the most important reason that helped people back. Those who live in developed countries, uh, especially in Africa, in the, the population had less income and education, so, so that they also have less opportunity to access. But nowadays, the knowledge and use become more and more essential uh, factors. The organizations focus more, more on the past than the future with limited technological uh, awareness and interest will be held back now. Yeah. So that is the difference uh, between the past and now. The, the digital divide in our life. Uh, next part, what is, the, what is a blog and wiki? Blog is a discussion of informational set population on what, 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 what and the consisting of its spread interest displayed in various uh, technology or other. We can post uh, theory entries about our hobbies and personal experience blog. Uh, Wiki is a piece of server software that allows users to freely create and edit web page content. You see, uh, you see any web browser. For, for example, I think we all customers to use Wikipedia for searching information class. Uh, then the photo sharing and e-learning. Photo sharing is a publishing of trans transfer of a user's digital photos online. Photo sharing websites offer services such as up uploading, uh, hosting, managing, and uh, sharing photos. And e-learning is a type of computer-supported co uh, collaborative learning learning system that developed with the emergency of what 2.0. From a learning from an e-learning 2.0 uh, perspective, conventional e-learning systems were based on instructional packets. Which will deliver deliver it to students using uh, assignments. Yeah. In the first class, we will introduce the uh, what is the learn to learn study, our uh, social uh, 
transplant from the traditional uh, le uh, le learning to the 20 21st century learning, which the, and in the first learning contract, I introduced the in inquiry based learning. And these are the process of a IBL in career based learning as uh, investigate, uh, create, discuss, re uh, reflect the process. Uh, in first, in creating questions of their, of, of their own. Uh, we, we make questions of what we, we want to do, uh, for example, make a uh, proposal of the project and discuss the opting supporting evidence to answer the questions, find information online, and uh, uh, use a lot of uh, resource, resource explain, explaining the evidence collected, connecting the explanation to the knowledge obtained from the investigative process, creating an argument and justification for the explanation, and the Next, the search regulated learning. Actually, it's, uh, it's for the learning culture too, but we didn't do that. Uh, self regulated learning. In this process, uh, the students, the benefits, there are a lot of benefits uh, in this process. The students are motivated to learn and they take control and ownership of their learning, plan their strategies, and reflect on the process of learning itself, employ multiple, multiple strategies to learn, uh, monitor and regulate their learning, uh, evaluate their learning against set standards, attribute their success and the failures to factors in their control. Uh, so the definition of self-regulating learning refers to learning that is guided by uh, like that definition, which means thinking about what thinking, and strategies, action, including planning, monitoring, and uh, evaluating uh, personal pro progress against the uh, standard motivations to learn. And the last, uh, problem-based learning. Uh, in, the, in the last learning contract, uh, learning contract three, I introduced the problem-based learning, the one, of, one form of uh, collaborative learning. A student are divided into small groups, uh, and I engaged in opportunities for knowledge thinking, for problem solving, for the collaborating necessary for, for effective learning. The real, uh, the real world problems are used to motivate students to identify and research the, the issues they need to know. The, uh, they, they need to know to work through those problems. Uh, and the problem-based learning makes students think critically and be able, be able to ana analyze and solve complex real-world problems and find, evaluate, and use appropriate learning resources and uh, work cooperatively in terms and in small groups. So here, um, uh, so this is a part of what I learned as a class um, and also dur during the class. You said that I finished uh, one pair work and one group work with our team members. Yeah, I want to thank to them uh, that helped me a lot during the during the work and made me know how to uh, cooperate with team member, members to finish the, uh, the work, the project together. Yes. Thank you very much, Maria. <laughs> we have 15 more minutes. <laughs>
Are you ready? Ready? <laughs> Thank you. We love to hear speeches of the semester, one after the other. Uh, it's a very good time for you to share with us what you feel, what you've learned. All right, Haley, please. You need to. Uh,
So for me, it's not only about the things that I learned from, from this field, but also the social issue that so surrounding us where we should pay attention to. So what is it? Well, from the module that we learned, it's basically IBM style, where we are grouped into a pair, and then we learn what a lot. You know, we'll be able to solve problems and conjecture, meaning we could think critically in a way. And these all elements that I've gained from this course, and as well, I put in use in other courses, general education courses, and even my majors. So that is more that's more than important that I have uh, from, from the first assignment of this course. And I know uh, many people may think that, well, it's a lot for us, but I see it is a gift that I have. And also a team facilitator, or, well, a leader of the, of the team number three. Uh, we've, we've chosen the topics of networking because we figured out whatever we learn or how we learn, we, we understand that there's something that behind uh, society, uh, which is we are not we are not sure and we're not aware of. And the problem here, but I want to simply talk about it uh, because this is just more than it's more than the, the report that we have all done, and the, the problem that I want to show to you. And the problem here, here is people are isolated from the real world. This is the uh, sort of conclusion of our proper report, uh, and then it is simply something that we all are not. Uh, aware of uh, by the time by the time uh, by the time uh, from the time being, and then there's a video that I'm going to show to you because it's really important, and I have uploaded uh, uh, in the course uh, in the course blog section, I, I, I believe, but not but not no none of you, none of us uh, have uh, get the access to it. I, I'm, I believe that I can show to you right now. It's a quick video, it's important uh, for our future. Sorry. It's quite powerful. Did you know what the average person spends four years of his life looking down at his cell phone? Kind of ironic, game. How these touch screens can make us lose touch. But it's no wonder in a world filled with iMacs, iPads, and iPhones, so many eyes, so many selfies, not enough us and we. See, technology has made us more selfish and separate than ever. Because while it claims to connect us, connection has gotten no better. And let me express first, Mr. Zuckerberg, not to be rude, but you should reclassify Facebook to what it is, an anti-social network. Because while we may have big friend lists, so many of us are friendless all alone. Because friendships are more broken than the screens on our very phones. We sit at home on our computers measuring self-worth by numbers of followers and likes. Ignoring those who actually love us, it seems we'd rather write and then we post and talk to someone who might actually hug us. Am I bugging? You tell me, because I asked a friend the other day, let's meet up face to face. They said, all right, what time do you want to Skype? I responded with OMG. And so I rested in a bunch of SMHs and realized, what about me? Do I not have the patience to have the conversation without abbreviation? This is the generation of media overstimulation. Chats have been reduced to snaps. The news is 140 characters. Videos are six seconds at high speed. And you wonder why ADD is on the rise faster than 4G LTE. But get a load of this. Studies show the attention span of the average adult today is one second lower than that of a goldfish. So if you're one of the few people who are aquatic animals that have yet to click off or close this video, congratulations. Let me finish by saying you do have a choice, yes. But this one, my friends, we cannot autocorrect. We must do it ourselves. Take control or be controlled, make a decision, me. No longer do I want to spoil a precious moment by recording it with a phone. I'm just going to keep them. I don't want to take a picture of all my meals anymore. I'm just going to eat them.
I don't want the new app, the new software, or the new update. And if I want to post an old photo, who says I have to wait until Thursday? I'm so tired of performing in a pageantry of vanity and conforming to this accepted form of digital insanity. Call me crazy, but I imagine a world where we smile when we have low batteries. Because that'll mean we'll be one bar closer to humanity.
but it helps me to think, to rethink. Okay, maybe I would put in that the attitude to learn to everything. Okay, what I what I worked really hard on this course, and I actually think of something that well, it's not that related in a way, but I'm being a global citizen. I actually I'm ex actually exposed to the the real issues in life, but through web technology, of course. And also, I, I rethink what I can do a little bit more before I graduate. That could be something important, not just for me, but for you. In the lifelong journey, I, I can sing with my heart already, but how about you? Is it an end? Maybe an end to this course, but it could be a new beginning of our journey because life is full of hope. Last but not least, sit in the same classroom, we are all from all walks of life. We're, we're just different. But, be, but remember something that you can still be successful in a way throughout this course. We learn what we didn't expect it, and we can do something before it's too late. And I'm, I'm sure that it's a gift for all of us. And this is the thing that I may, I may share with you, because I find it um, important. Be prepared to fail as well as to succeed. But remember, it's a failure that defines character. We do, we do not need to be afraid of, oh, well, I can't do it. But remember, we can do it. Because we've learned to be a learn to learn students already, and we can solve our problems on our own. And the, more importantly, the most important thing that I want to do is to, to give a big applause to this course designer. Of course, he's, he's a big man. He designs this course, but I'm, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not exaggerating, but this is true. Because I will give uh, a teacher in the future that I actually learn a lot. Because I may influence others in the future. And my classmate, and of course, my dear teammate, and the other candidate. So that is what I can do uh, to remind all of, all of us to keep going and can achieve more uh, if we want. Okay, only if we want. Thank you. Thank you very much, Hayley, for giving us a very good speech of the semester. Just before you go, I need to take attendance. Thank you. It's a uh, need to make sure I have a great place to have. Good morning. Welcome so much. Um, it's so, so impressive. Uh, today, when I prepped your own speeches for the semester, Maria, Alexa, Roe, thank you, uh, Annie, Annie, thank you, Daryl, Daryl is here, thank you, Nicholas is not here today, okay, uh, Paul is here, Amy is here, Rico is here, Kesley is here, thank you, uh, Sita is here, Tommy is here, Kesley is here. Kesley is not here today. Okay. Ah. Uh, Ariel is here. Renee is here. Candid is here. And then Adir, thank you. And then Popo, Hakta, and then Eric, Virginia. Thank you very much. Stay tuned. We have um, come back on Thursday and we have two more classes next week. So we are looking forward to your speeches of the semester. All right, uh, Hector, I'm coming to your way, all right? You have some questions for me. All right, let me switch off the camera, please.